And for more insights on the trial now, I'm joined by trial attorney Brian Claypool. Uh, Brian, thanks so much for hopping on with me as we remain in verdict watch here. Uh, fourth day of deliberations. And this jury has asked to re-see and uh, re-hear several pieces of evidence and testimony. Do you think that this is headed for a hung jury? Hey, Marky, great to be back with you. Look, I'm not surprised by this at all. I've done over 50 jury trials, and, and usually the rule of thumb is for every week of a trial, there's at least a day or two of deliberations. This jury has a daunting task. They have to decide the justification issue, Marky, before they start deliberating on the issue of whether this is uh, second-degree murder or, uh, or or manslaughter. And that's what a lot of folks don't understand. Mm -hmm. And justification means, did Penny have self-defense? Can he use self-defense as an argument? What does that mean? It's Article 35 of the New York Penal Code. And what that means, basically, is that the jury's got to decide, was Penny justified in using this amount of force? Did he reasonably believe that either he or other members of the subway were in harm's way that would allow him to use this force. If the jury decides that Penny was justified, then they don't get to the to the manslaughter charges at all. That's a complete defense, and Penny is acquitted. And think about it, Marky. You need 12 jurors to decide yeah. just on the justification issue. And if the jury is now asking still about how do you define justification, they're still stuck on the first question. Let's say they say Penny was not justified. Then they move into the, the realm of was he careless and reckless and did the careless and recklesses legally cause the death of Jordan Neely? So there's a lot of work for this jury to do, and I'm not surprised that we're in day four of deliberation. Yeah, and every day, Brian, you know, we've all just been on the edge of our seat wondering, is today the, the day? I talked to a different trial attorney just last hour who brought something up that I hadn't thought about before. He said, juries love Friday verdicts. Uh, do you think we're going to get an answer today so they can, you know, are they all ready to head into their weekend and, and go on with their lives? You know, Marky, in general, I tend to agree with that. But not in this case. And here's why. This case is much bigger than, hey, this is a second degree murder trial or a negligent homicide case. This case transcends our entire country. It deals with issues involving mental health. Uh, it deals with issues involving homelessness. It deals with issues of a good Samaritan versus a vigilante. There is a ton at stake here, Marky. Think about the impact of this jury verdict. For example, if Penny is found guilty, yep. are people in this country going to step in and intervene when somebody's in harm's way? So this case deals with a lot more, and I don't think this jury is going to be rushing to judgment just because it's a Friday afternoon. You you stole the question right out of my mouth. I was curious what you thought it meant for subway riders everywhere uh, following this, because this will transcend that subway car where this happened. Uh, Brian Claypool, thank you as always, sir. Um, uh, we'll talk to you this weekend or next week. Thanks. You bet. Have a good weekend, Mark. You too.